Now let's go find this guy. And he should appear in the bottom left, but he is currently in a hangar, so you see a picture of whatever hangar he's in. Whoa. Yeah, the moths handle a little bit weirdly. Oh, he's left his hangar, so we should be able to find him. Yeah, he's just outside this tunnel. Okay, so I have three weapons, plasma cannon, laser, and swarm missiles. The plasma cannon is better at stripping shields, the laser is better at destroying the hull. Uh, yeah, he's out of range. Now he's in range. And the missiles are pretty much good for everything. So he's, his shields are down, let's just finish him with a laser. I did get one good missile hit in, and he's dead. Like I said, he was 100% rating, he was apparently the toughest guy on the wanted list, and I killed him in like under 10 seconds. Message received. But you do die pretty quickly. The the only hard thing is staying out of the um, their line of fire, basically. So, yeah, blah blah blah, the police have awarded you two grand. The police basically are pretty weak in this game. They rely on bounty hunters for everything. Even if you piss them off, um, the police don't... Um, they wait about like 10 days or something before they start sending people after you and then they only send them one at a time. Uh, they will. Uh, people will occasionally try and take you down though for the bounty. So anyway, once more strange activity in downtown. The police have cordoned off an area near ore processing. Suspected cover up in progress citizen, you have been warned. So we can target the subject in this email. Which is actually just over here. And it will lead us to whatever that was talking about. Now you may notice it's getting dark. And in the top left I have a recharge bar that's almost empty. That's how quickly... Ah, uh, phone. Sorry about that, if you notice like a little jump cut, that will be me just uh, dealing with some disturbance. I am doing this all live, so that can happen. So we'll just investigate whatever was going on that the police are apparently covering up. And there's this mysterious blue light. Let's get up there. And it's covered in lens flare, apparently. So, controls inoperative. Cause, unidentified craft. Which is a big blue swordfish thingy. Yeah, let's come to have a look at me. Do you like what you see, Mr. Fish? No. Uh, I don't think he does. I'm just gonna... <laughs> yep, there he goes, flying backwards. See you later, Tor. I can only describe this cutscene as awkward. It's not really very clear what's going on. Yeah, and then he explodes for partic no particular reason. So that was the first real uh, story element to the game. As you can see, um, he has dropped some mysterious objects. I think unknown origin. Uh, if I target these, I don't really get any information about them. Hmm, crash override. I'm pretty sure he's a criminal. I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to risk uh, getting a getting a police record by just taking someone out for no reason. <clears throat> yeah, I, I will. Hold on a sec. Let me show you something. What, this is a recharging station. What does it look like? Okay, now think about what it looks like. And all the ships gather under these to recharge at night. You there, because you are solar powered. That kind of makes sense why they're called moths, doesn't it? Anyway, I've got a new message from Clamp G. Please kill Lazarus people and we will give you money. So, yeah. That's just Clamp G giving a counter offer to Lazarus. But I don't really want to get involved in all that right now. What I want to do is buy a cargo pod. So I'll look at local services. And Trade Central will probably sell them. Just assuming. Let's get up here. Ah, oh, yeah. You can see there's all these hangars called Vacant. You can buy your own hangar. You can just use it as like a garage if you want to store your uh, moths. Or you can actually use it as a shop. You can buy um, 
buy stuff, put it in your hangar, and people come and sell it, uh, um, buy it from you. Hopefully, you make a profit. You can also turn it into sort of a business, like you can produce things. Like you can buy factory equipment and use that to create goods from, you know, uh, raw materials. Let's just look at the computer and go into stock. Now we need a salvage frame, but first we need a pod, so we'll fit this small cargo pod. And fit this small salvage frame. There we go. Oh, we're done. We can now pick up salvage from the floor. Actually, before I leave, save. And we need to wait for the airlock to clear before we can launch. Which might take a while. Okay, let's go. The moth I'm currently flying is pretty much the worst in the game. It's the starting moth. It doesn't have any real advantage to it. Um, it's worse than pretty much every moth in every single way. So actually, I need to go to the police station. Yeah, you don't really get trade-offs until like the second tier of moths. Like, there's the hawk moth, which is that big blocky blue one that you see pretty much everyone flying. And there's the tiger, which is the sort of long stripy one. And I think they basically, they have trade-offs in like the hawk is better armoured, but the uh, tiger's faster. And yeah, they're about the same price. So, you know, that's the trade-off. But with this one, no, it's pretty, it's weak, it's slow. Um, it can't fit many powerful weapons. You can't mount a turret on it. It's basically the noob moth. The only thing worse than it is the Moon Moth, which doesn't have any weapons other than a turret. And its only advantage is you can, it has a passenger seat, so you can taxi people around. Although it's pretty useless to the player. So anyway, let's look at the wanted list. And I'll just find the person with the highest rating in. Harry Mafia Main. Harry Mafia Main. Yeah, that's the random name generator at work. Creating very unique names put it nicely. Okay, let's see how close he is. Uh, he's about one tunnel away. And I've lost the tunnel on my nav computer. Oh, yeah, there it is. A restricted area, but doesn't sound ominous at all. Now, the reason I fitted a cargo pod was so that I can salvage uh, anyone I kill, basically, because I, when you're taking down criminals, there's quite a high chance they're carrying something valuable, like uh, cigars or illegal narcotics or alcohol, that sort of thing. Oops. All that sort of thing. That's a monorail line I just crashed into. Oh, look, he's carrying gems. And when you kill someone carrying something that valuable, you generally want to pick it up because otherwise all the little bottom feeding scavengers will come out of nowhere and steal everything. So this game is truly every man for himself. Now, the AI in this game, they they do kind of want to make money. Like, they will... If they see an opportunity to take you out and you're carrying some valuable cargo, most of them will take it. I'm pretty sure some of them have some moral standards, but most of the time they'll just kill you and take your shit. So anyway, let's get engaged in combat. I'm going to open with the plasma... I should open with swarm missiles. Switch to plasma cannon. Let's get your shields off. Shields are off, so switch to laser. Fire another barrage of swarm missiles. We should kill him if they hit. And there they go. It's finished. Don't know if he dropped much. A little bit of scrap metal. Oh wait, the, the, the diamonds are there. Gems even. 
Let's get this to it. And once I've got these, I'm not going to hang about because I'm quite a low-level moth. And let's just find the nearest trade center. There we go. I'm not a very high-level moth. And people will kill me for these. And they will probably win if they get the drop on me. The only re uh, reason to hang around would be to collect that scrap metal, but it's not worth the risk, to be honest. I did play about an hour of this to get used to the controls and make sure it worked just before I started this let's play, and I did. Actually, that was how I died in that hour. I killed a guy, I picked up his stuff, and before I could even finish looting the rest of his stuff, I'd been killed. Because someone decided, oh, I was, oh I'm low level, I'm an easy target, they just kill me. Let's get in here and sell this stuff because it's too dangerous to be walking around with it. And that's why I said being a trader isn't as boring as in other games. You do will actually have to fight, you will have to defend yourself quite a lot. Especially if you're tra tra um, carrying valuable goods. So we'll go in here, sell cargo, and oh, 500 each. That's like always worth killing just for the gems. That has made me a lot of money. It's gone up by about 7k. That guy's made me. Which is great. Uh, if you're interested in the trade system in this game, every building has sort of a needs list. So like the this is an out this is just a generic trading post, so what they want is pretty arbitrary. So they want uh they want gems, they want X metal, they want plastics, so want fusion parts, sheet metal, uh general stuff basically. They'll take anything, they're a general trading center. And they can also tell you where to find the nearest um, items, like the nearest ore, is it the prison mine? So this game's economy is pretty much fully functioning, I'll just save it quickly before I leave. 